Algebra 2 trigonometry regions, the ellipse. Now, an ellipse graph uh, is is basically an oval. Sometimes we refer to them as ovals. We, we, we've studied circle graphs here. Well, now we're going to uh, study an ellipse graph. And our ellipses are always going to be centered at the origin. You know, we're going to make them pretty, pretty simple. Um, so this is what your ellipse will look like. And we're, we're going to graph a couple of them. But here's your standard form. It's x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. Now let's actually look at an example while I ex explain this here. So in the example that I, I gave you for the first problem that we're going to do together is x squared over 9 plus y squared over 16 equals 1. So you'll see an x squared and a y squared. Notice uh, one thing that you definitely need to point out here is the difference between this and a circle. Now the circle, the equation, you know, is x minus h squared and so on. But the key thing is that for an ellipse, these numbers are going to be different. And these are actually coefficients in a sense, right? Because if you see x squared over 9, that's the same thing as 1 ninth x squared, right? So, so this 1 over this number is the coefficient of x squared, and 1 over b squared is the coefficient of b squared there. And, and they're going to be different because that's what's going to determine our intercept values. And so the way, the way to get these values, the way to get the graph done, is the number below x squared. So whatever's below x squared, we call a squared. In this first example, the number below x squared is 9. The square root of that is a. So our x-intercepts are plus or minus the square root of the number below x squared. So for this first example, this 9 means a squared equals 9 means that a equals plus or minus 3, and these are our x-intercepts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right away, sorry, my x-axis, I'm intercepting at plus or minus 3. Here's negative 3, here's positive 3. So you're going to hit your x-axis at the square root of the number below x squared. And that's what this is saying. So the number below is a squared, so a is that. And it's basically the, the same thing, but for the y's. The number below y squared we call b squared. And the y-intercepts are plus or minus b. So for this example, since the number below y squared is 16, that means b squared equals 16, which means that b equals plus or minus 4, the square root of 16. And these are your y-intercepts. And so plus or minus 4 is here and here. And then once you have your x-intercepts and your y-intercepts, the ellipse is, is very easy to graph. Um, well, <laughs> on pen and paper, it might be kind of tough for me to graph this with a, a tablet here. I'll, I'll do my best, and, and you, um, please don't laugh at me. Uh, all right, let's see here. Just make sure it is curved, right? I don't want to draw a diamond. Ooh, that's terrible. Uh, like I said, if I had a, a piece of pen and paper, I think I would do a better job. But on a tablet surface, that's kind of tough to do. I could also try to maybe use this, but I don't think that's going to, you know, it would be tough to line it up with my points. Um, so there's your ellipse. Uh, the number below x squared is, is the square root of that is your intercepts, and the number below y squared, the square root of that is your y-intercepts. And, and one other key feature about the ellipse that definitely needs to be pointed out is we set it as different coefficients. Like in this case, the coefficient of x squared is 1 ninth and the coefficient of y squared is 1 16. So the coefficients are different. So different coefficients. Because that's going to come, that's going to be important later on. Because if they were the same, like say this was x squared over 9 and y squared over 9, then the x-intercepts would be plus or minus 3, and the y-intercepts would also be plus or minus 3. And if they're the same, then that's a circle. So if these numbers are the same, it's a circle. Um, but different is, is what makes it the ellipse. And then one other key feature that we need to point out is notice that there's a plus in between. So similar to the circle because it's a plus in between. And, and an oval or an ellipse is similar to a circle, right? It's just kind of a uh, stretched or compressed circle. Uh, so it has a plus in between. The next video, 
we're going to see a minus in between these, and that's going to be the hyperbola, and that's a totally different graph. So, so recognizing the plus or minus between is very, very crucial. All right, so one more example of, uh, of what we see here is write the equation of the ellipse in standard form. Now, standard form is, is this. So we like it equal to 1 with these fractions here. And so how could I turn this equation? Let me just write the equation again. 4x squared plus 16y squared equals 64. How can I get it to equal 1? Well, how could I turn 64 into the number 1? I have two options. I can subtract 63, but then I'm going to have a minus 63 over here, and that's going to be kind of annoying to work with. But I could always make something 1 by simply dividing by itself. And that's what we do to get these in standard form, is you divide by whatever number is over here to turn it into a 1. So our standard form must be set equal to 1. And so when I simplify this out, I can simplify 4 over 64. It becomes x squared. 4 over 64 simplifies to 1 over 16. You could type that in your calculator if you're not quite sure. Remember, this can simplify fractions for you. 4 divided by 64, and then just do math. Double enter. We'll convert it to 1 16th for you. And if you want to put a 1 here, that's fine. Plus 16 over 64 simplifies to 1 fourth. So y squared over 4 equals 64 divided by 64 is 1, and that's that's the crucial part, is we needed to set equal to 1 in standard form. Then this question also wants the x and y intercepts. So your x intercepts come from the square root of this, so that would be plus or minus 4. And your y intercepts come from plus or minus the number below y squared, so that would be plus or minus 2. And let's say this the square root of 16 is how we got that plus or minus 4, and the square root of 4 is how we got the plus or minus 2. Uh, and they should really have plus or minus in front of these also. Okay, so if you were to graph this, and you're not asked to, but if you were to graph this, just draw a, a, a rough sketch of it, the x-intercepts would be at, uh, at 4. So let's say this is negative 4, and this is positive 4. And your y-intercepts would be at 2, so here's your 2 and your negative 2, so your oval would look something like, again, please don't make fun of, oh, wow, it's even worse than the first one. <laughs> but again, you know, you could probably draw better graphs than me on paper than I can on a tablet. So, uh, but we'll practice this more in class, and hopefully my graphs will come out a little bit better when I'm doing it on a surface and on a tablet. But I think you get the gist, and, and really, you're not going to have to graph too many of these. It's really more about identifying the graph and understanding how the intercepts uh, come about. Okay, so that is your ellipse. ellipse.